Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Lainey Pugh with 31 Triple Doppler. So it's not great outside today, but you have your eyes on something bigger on Friday, potentially. Right, we're just seeing some dreary conditions today, uh, but heading into Friday, that's when we're tracking our next chance to see our next weather maker. A cold front's gonna push through during the evening hours on Friday, bringing in a line of showers and storms. Some of those storms could be on the stronger side. We're gonna continue to monitor this as we inch closer to Friday. Behind the front, much cooler air. So if you've been enjoying the warm temperatures in the mid 60s, perhaps even the 70s on Thursday, you're not gonna like the cold air that is going along behind it. Here's the latest from the Storm Prediction Center on Friday. The shoals outlined in that uh, slight risk for those strong to severe storms. So again, something we're keeping our eyes on. Details can change as we head closer into Friday, so make sure you just keep checking back in for details. Here's what the latest looks like on future radar. By 7 a.m. on Friday, we could start to see some of those light showers make their way into the Tennessee Valley. It looks like Friday is pretty much going to be a washout. We'll see all day rain, but the majority of the showers and storms won't be happening until probably around the evening hours. By 9 p.m., again, seeing all those darker colors, those reds, those maroons, that indicates heavier rainfall. It also indicates the possibility to see some of those stronger storms that last throughout the overnight hours and into the early morning hours on Saturday, 9 a.m. Again, still seeing that line move through as we head towards the afternoon and late evening hours. That's when we finally start to see some clearing. And by the after evening hours on Saturday, we do start to trend a whole lot drier and we're left with those mostly cloudy skies. Again, the primary threat right now that we're looking at is the heavy rainfall. We could see upwards to two to four inches of rain all across the Tennessee Valley, stuff that we definitely do need because we are seeing some drought-like conditions across the Tennessee Valley. Right now, though, 31 Triple Doppler showing dry conditions, but again, lots of cloud coverage for your Tuesday. We're going to continue to see that as we go throughout the rest of the day today. A few isolated pockets of drizzle, maybe a light shower or two is possible during the afternoon hours, but as we head into the evening, looks like we start to trend a whole lot drier. That cloud coverage is ours to keep as we head into your Wednesday morning. Again, another morning with the dreary conditions. By Wednesday afternoon, we could start to see some pockets of sunshine, but the majority of us will be dealing with that cloud coverage still. By Wednesday night, we could see a few spots of clearing, but those clouds are still out there. By Thursday morning, some of us waking up to sunshine. The majority of us, though, waking up to cloud coverage once again, and that really does build in as we head into your Thursday afternoon. We'll start to see some isolated showers during the late afternoon evening hours on Thursday, but the vast majority of us will stay dry again until we head into Friday when we're going to deal with some all day rain. Today, though, 63 degrees, dreary, cloudy, mild. It's not going to be a fun day to be outside. We'll have some pockets of light rain, too. Heading into the rest of the work week, 67 degrees on Wednesday, warming up to that 70 degree mark on Thursday. By Friday, that's when we enter in that next weather maker. We'll drop into the upper 60s. Behind the weather maker, much cooler temperatures. We're talking to being back to the upper 40s. As we head into your Sunday with overnight lows, we're turning into the upper 20s. So heading into the start of next week, we're looking at a hard freeze. Definitely different from the 70 degree weather we're going to see on Thursday, dropping all the way to the upper 40s on Sunday. Hard freeze. Not fun. No, not at all. <laughs>